In this video we're going to look at circle theorems. There's a lot of circle theorems, so I'm going to go through them and do several examples or many examples on each of them. Okay, the first circle theorem is that the angle at the centre is double the angle at the circumference. So when you've got this shape like so, the angle here will be double the angle here. So if you're given one of them, you can easily work out the other one. Okay, the next circle theorem is the angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees. So this angle here is 90 degrees. And it's just a special case of the previous one. Remember, circle theorem 1 was the angle at the circumference is half the one at the centre. The one at the centre is double the one on the circumference. So if this is 180 degrees here, straight line, the diameter, therefore that then will be 90 degrees, half of it. So if you wanted to work out x, it'd be fairly simple here. You could just add up these two and take it away from 180. The third circle theorem is angles in the same segment are equal. So whenever you've got two points on the circumference and cords reaching up to different points in the circ uh, circumference in the same segment, the angles will be the same. So if that was 30 degrees, that would be 30 degrees. If I draw another one, like so, obviously with a ruler, <laughs> then with a ruler, then that would be 30 degrees. Okay, the fourth circle theorem is that the opposite angles in cyclic quadrilaterals add to 180. <clears throat> so here's a cyclic quadrilateral with each vertice on um, each vertex on the circumference of a circle. The opposite angles, notice here the 70 and the 110 and the 180, the opposite angles add to 180 degrees. If, uh, the fifth circle theorem is that the lengths of the tangent are equal if they're from the same point. So if you were to choose a random point outside of the circle and draw the tangents to the circle, now there will always be two tangents from any particular point, uh, then the length from here to here and from here to here where the line touches the circle, those lengths will be exactly the same. The sixth circle theorem is that the angle between the radius and the tangent is always 90 degrees. So if you have a particular point and you draw the tangent to the circle, and then you withdraw the radius from the circle to the point where the tangent meets the circle, then you will have a 90 degree angle. They will be perpendicular to each other. This circle theorem leads into trigonometry questions and Pythagoras questions. For instance, if you were to join P to the center of the circle, then it's a right angle triangle with from here to here being the hypotenuse. Also, if you were to join that up, you can work out angles using trigonometry and so on. And circle theorem number seven is the alternate segment theorem. The alternate segment theorem is that the angle between the tangent and the chord is equal to the angle in the alternate segment. So look at this diagram. So the angle between the tangent and the chord, this angle, is equal to the angle in the alternate segment, so here. Okay. So this angle would be equal to this angle. Likewise, the other angle would be equal, so the, other, um, the angle here between the tangent and the chord here, this angle, would be the same as this angle. So the alternate, the angle between the tangent and the chord is equal to the angle in the alternate segment, so the other segment, and likewise here and here. The eighth circle theorem is that the radius may bisect a chord. So in other words, if you've got a chord, you can draw a radius, you can always draw a radius that will go through the center of that uh, chord a 90 degree angle, so it'll be the perpendicular bisector. Okay, I would cut the chord exactly in half at 90 degrees. And you can do that for any chord. If you were to draw a chord, you can always draw a radius that would bisect it. 